Thank you, President Local 1348. First off, I'd like to say, it's, uh, and I can't pronounce your name, I'm sorry. I can't. I, I can't. If, if it was one of my members that did that, I apologize to her. I don't know where that came from, that they said things like that, so I will make a public apology on behalf, but it did not come from the union board, I can guarantee you that. Thank you. Uh, I also um, would like to offer the council and, and to the concerned taxpayers group, I, I have to disagree with some of their numbers. Um, I don't think they're correct, and, and I would welcome uh, our chance to sit down with you, council members, and with them to go over those numbers. Um, for example, we are not at 117. The contract calls for 115, which we, the union, agreed to under the Cannon administration when they approached us because we knew hard times were coming to go to 110, which is what we did. Um, we are now currently at 110 firefighters on the department. So 117, I don't know where that number came from, but I would love to sit down with anybody and, and talk about those issues. Same with monetary. Um, I think people don't look at all the totals and in the other some of the cities that are mentioned they have their own utilities and things which inflate their general fund which monthly does not have so i think if we looked and compared apples to apples we would see that public safety like in most places is one of the major concerns of government and, and one of the major costs of government i was at a firefighter convention in, in april where governor mitch daniels came and i agree with him on this issue he stated and i quote one of the primary responsibilities of government is to provide for public safety. I think, I think we're all in agreement that public safety is a concern. We're not up here to scare or anything like that, but it is a concern and it is a primary responsibility of government. In House Bill 1001, there were measures put in there. Um, I, I think by the governor or by some other people that he helped with to provide for public safety and for property tax relief. These are issues and things that we are more than willing. We have sat down with the mayor. I offered my hand to her when she first came into office, congratulating her and telling her that Monte Fire Department and the union were willing to work with the city and try to, we knew hard times were coming and to make what we could do the best of this city because we love this city. Firefighters do this job because we love doing the job. We like helping people. It's not to get rich. It's not for any other benefit. We do it because we are driven by helping people. So we've offered our hand to the city. We've had talks with the mayor. Um, we've had some talks with city council. Um, we've entertained those any time to sit down and try to come up with solutions and come up with ideas that will help us to um, provide for the public safety of these citizens of Muncie. As I said, um, we also do a lot of things in Muncie. Um, I know the fire department gets a lot of, um, or the union, uh, headlines sell newspapers. And as I said, we are, we are not here to defy or to uh, cause any bad uh, problems. We're here to help and we want to offer our hand in helping the city of Muncie. Um, we continue to do that um, through many things that we're involved in, charities and things like that. So we're here to help and we're here, you know, just give us a call. I'd be Thank willing you. to sit down with any of them. Thank you.